Happy weekend, traders. Happy weekend. Happy Easter. Happy Good Friday. What's good, YouTube? What's good, people? What's going on? How is everybody doing? The so boy Harlem, and I guess, and I pray, and I pray, and I pray that you guys are having a wonderful weekend. And I still pray that you have a wonderful trading week. The so boy Harlem, and I'm back with another video. Today, guys, will be our weekly trading outlook for the coming week. I just want to keep things short, sweet, and legit with you guys because obviously I have my family around, right? But without further ado, guys, I just want to keep things short. I repeat and make sure that I share the shames that I'm willing that I'm about to share with you guys. But before I get any further, make sure you smash the like button, you subscribe to the channel, you share the video, you comment on the video, you click the links to sign up with the brokers that I use, or if you want to check out my daily live vlogs, or if you're looking for a legitimate forex trading course, you know what to do. So just do the right thing and let's go to academy put gaming and trading journey so guys this will be a weekly outlook i repeat looking for potential direction on 10 on five trading pays right so we're going to be starting on the next right so on the next you guys know that we still are holding our word our intraday resistance even though we had price breaking out and creating those highs but price is still creating lows and prices closed the week below our zone. So for the coming week, when I said I'm waiting for confirmation, it's mainly because I want to see what is going to happen, right? Because I know that I have my zone. Are we going to get the full to break to be bearish or will price violate the zone and look to be bullish? We just don't know. That's why I say I'm waiting for confirmation because even though I had to look for something else, it would still be the same because it's that simple. We're waiting for confirmation because price is simply trading below our zone and with price trading below our zone we just want to see that is it going to continue moving down or might we be bullish right because i still have some type of like um 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 um, um channel that i would say price is forming <clears throat> so this is different now or this is tricky some traders might be looking at a possible flag to be bullish and some traders might be just anticipating that price is creating that bear channel to be bearish. That's why I'm waiting for confirmation to just clearly see that this zone is going to be violated or price will violating the zone. And that will be it. You guys get that. So looking at my second pay, which is gold. Gold, you can clearly see that our structure is bullish. Price has created a high and we had what price violating that high. Price created a high. And we have a violation of the very same high, right? So now all I can say is now for the coming week, what I'm looking for, because you can clearly see that we broke our higher high and we broke again our higher high, right? And we now have created this all-time high. So is price going to give us a higher low formation or a pullback to continue moving up? Or is there something that's going to happen? But for me, it's very simple. My trade idea is very simple. I'm anticipating a higher low or a pullback to simply continue bullish because my structure is bullish. Because my strike time is bullish, price is creating highs and violating highs. We're creating highs, violating highs. Now that we've created this high, we're waiting to see what is going to happen. Are we going to create that higher low formation before we can continue up? Or are we going to have a deeper pullback before price can continue up? We just don't know. That's why I say we're waiting for what? For price to give us a higher low formation or a pullback to simply continue bullish because that's how the structure on gold is sitting. It's bullish. Do you guys get that? So that paid that we're looking at is USD CAD. So USD CAD price is looking to be bearish, right? Because if I even had to zoom out, you guys know that we have a zone that price has been trading bearish above and bullish above. Now that price for the whole week, we're holding above this very same zone, right? Until we end up the week with price doing what? Violating the zone and trading below, right? So what I'm waiting to see now for the coming week is to see that is price really going to stay below this very same zone to be bearish? Or might we get a violation to be bullish? We just don't know. But for now, we can clearly see that we're having base signs. So all we can be focusing on is to see the momentum of the bears stepping in the charts so we can continue bearish. But if we see the bulls taking charge of the charts, then we're going to wait for further confirmation and do what we anticipate and do what price is showing us and just continue with that, right? Do you guys get that? So my take will be very simple. Are we bearish below zone? 
or are we bullish above? If we stay below, then I would still look to be bearish. But if we stay above or if we move above or violate and be bullish and be above, then I guess I'll still look for signs of what of price being of price being bullish. And that will simply be the way it has to be, not looking for much not looking for less and like i say guys if you're looking for a legitimate forex trading course where you need those gems that we always share into you guys independently so you can capitalize independently i've left my number i've left my instagram link or if you want to communicate without using my number or my instagram link just comment down below and say you are interested in the forex trading course and we're going to take it from there. But my point, my plan is to make sure that I assist you guys win the way I am winning. Do you guys get that? But without further ado, let's continue, right? So there will be it on USDK. And I was staying, I was staying below the zone to be bearish. Oh, we're going to violate above and be bullish. And that will be it. Do you guys get that? So the other pay that I'm looking at is those go up on a Tesla. Bottom stock stands down on the market, right? So Tesla, I also wouldn't say much because we're having our major support zone, right? We're having this as our major support zone. So with that being said, price has been bearish. Price has been bearish every time we were below the zone, right? So now that you can still see that we ended the week below this very same zone, I'm looking to see that is it price going to continue being bearish? Is price going to continue staying below this zone and look for a continuation of price being bearish? Or is price going to be above the zone and look for signs of continuations of price being bullish? I just don't know. But I live it the way it has to be. You can clearly see that price is below this zone. If we continue staying below, then I'll look for continuations to the downside. But if we get a violation and turn, and turn bullish will be above, then I'll anticipate that move of price being bullish. And that will be it. Without further ado, let's hop on to the last trading pick, which is Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, I also don't have um, 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 confirmation as of yet because we all know that this rectangle zone, that is marked out zone as our major support, as our major all-time high resistance, right? You can clearly see that price has like violated and traded below and violated and traded below. Now, now you can see that based on how you're looking at price on this current market price, this very same current market price on um, 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 zone or oh, price level, you can clearly see that, okay, price has created this high. Price created this high, and it happened that obviously price came back again to the very same high and turned somehow bearish, right? So me having to wait for confirmation is to see that from price, from price creating this um 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 um, um from price creating this two highs as price gonna violate this high and continue up but even though we still look to continue up we still have another high that price and still needs to violate before we can confirm our bullish our bullish strength right so me having to wait for confirmation is to see that the high state price has printed out are we gonna get a violation of the size or are we gonna get Price willing to violate this highs and turning bearish below our zone. We just don't know. But for now, I'm waiting for confirmation because if I had to explain and explain and explain, I'll be confusing you guys. So we're keeping it simple. We're waiting for price to see. We're waiting to see price violating our highs. That price has printed out in order for us to so continue bullish on Bitcoin. Or if price feels violating those highs, let's at least wait for price to trade below our major zone and look forward for those moves to the downside. And that will be it. Do you guys get that? So those will be what we're anticipating for the coming week on our pace. We're not looking for much. We're not looking for less. But our aim is to make sure that we keep those things simple, sweet, legit, and most of all, most of all, valuable for traders out there. But it's not fair I would do. You do the right thing. Make sure you subscribe and you like the video and you share the video. You check out my daily live vlogs subscribe to my cot academy packages if you're interested and most of all and most of all most of all make sure you do the right thing and stay out the lane 2024 so yeah but it's after i will do this boy Harlem. that's all i got in this video